Welcome. What do they honestly want with you is today's timeless pick a card. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Pile one, we got the rose quartz. Pile two, orlite. And pile three, jade. Take another deep breath. And exhale. Timestamps will be in the description box. Pause the video now if you need more time to choose your pile. See what your pile. Welcome, pile one. You chose the rose quartz. So let's look into what do they honestly want with you? All right. I'm going to place this one to the side. Now I have a, two decks together that have been pre shuffled. One of them is the Muse Tarot, the other one is the Light Sears, and it's all mixed up. I pre-shuffled it, so we're going to see what comes out for pile number one. Let's look at what they honestly want with you. Okay, the person on your mind. Strength. Keep dealing with a Leo. Muse of Voices. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Materials. Okay, we already have two signifiers. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So what do they honestly want with you? Here's what I see. What I see right now is that this person feels a strong bond to you, but they may be holding your, themselves back and they may feel lust toward you, but they also may feel that you are very different and have different focuses in life. But I do feel that this person honestly wants a commitment with you, okay? Yeah, 10 of pentacles. They think about this a lot of how you could be committed to each other the Empress have a family together. So this person sees you as marriage material, um, someone they could start a family with, have a family with. Um, they see you as the full package, okay? They see you as everything they could ever want in a person. Um, they wonder if they have it in them to be at your level. Let's clarify strength here. The wheel. They, they, they feel they were lucky to meet you or to have you in their life. They honestly want things to move in their favor here. They honestly want a push from, from the universe. That's what they honestly want here. They on, honestly want to come together and have a union with you that is long lasting, where you live together, you share a life together, you have a practical life together, and if if there's like a distance or you're apart, they want to be in the same house. They want to be with you every day. I feel this person has unconditional love toward you. Yeah. Ultimately, they feel that yes, you would be a good match. They have a lot of love inside their heart that they don't really show you, but they're hoping that you feel this. They honestly want to be a couple with you. They want this to be mutual, reciprocal. Yes, they may want to get you pregnant because we have the Empress twice. Or they may want you to get them pregnant depending on who you are in this equation and have a life with you, build a home with you, share finances with you, um, get wealthy together, create things together. If, uh, if, this is, if, if you're not wanting children, this person may want children, okay? Or they may want to start a project with you and they see a lot of abundance with you. They see you as someone abundant. They're super attracted to you. It's like they, they honestly want you to be their world and they want King of Swords at twice. So yeah, you could be dealing with someone who externally is very... Um, Cold, or they don't really show their feelings, or they uh, seem very um, blasé or nonchalant about their feelings, like nothing affects them, but they really are affected by you in a big way. And they're just wondering if they're at your level. 
this person feels like there's a, a heart and mind connection between the two of you and they just they just want this union with you they just want to share life with you they want to share their life with you what a beautiful reading um what do they honestly want with you i almost don't want to ruin this reading that's like uh, that's that's it guys that is your reading that was really really quick so i hope this resonated i hope this brought you the clarity that you seek it was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Um, bless you and see you next time. Bye. Welcome, Pile 2. If you chose Auralite, this is going to be your reading. This is what the person on your mind honestly wants with you. All right, so let's look at the first card. We have Ace of Cups, new emotional beginning. Okay. They want a new beginning or a renewal in love with you. This could be something new, or these could be newfound feelings. Five of Wands, challenges, they see challenges, or there are obstacles here, or competition. Yeah, they may see that there's a lot of competition. They may, there may be dealing with feelings of jealousy, but ultimately they want to conquer you. They're very anxious, worried about this. They could be having sleepless nights over this, overthinking this, a little bit obsessed and worried. They have some fear surrounding the challenges that stand between them and you and having this, this um, reignition or this new beginning here. But they see you as new love or they have these newfound feelings for you. They want to conquer you, but they this makes them nervous. They see a lot of obstacles that they have to overcome, possibly some competition, and this really gets to their head. Okay, they're in their head about this. They're wondering if you would reject them. What do they honestly want? They want you to think of them as much as they think of you. Page of Swords. They want to know more about you. They want to understand why they have these strong feelings toward you of love. They want a little help from the universe to overcome these challenges because they don't quite know how to do this on their own. They're trying to figure it out. But they definitely want to have this beginning of passion and emotions with you. They may want something sexual with you. They honestly want this to move forward in a way that is stable and long lasting to the next level. They want to materialize this. They want to hermit with you. They want to spend time alone with you. You could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart. They could, but they, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. They want to spend time with you alone, alone time with you. Okay, they want some alone time with you so that they can explore you, get to know you. They want to make sure that this can happen, that the universe will help them because without a push from the, from the universe, they really doubt that this could happen. They worry about how to get to you. They're worried that once they do get to you, if they're taking a long time, you may not want them and you may shut them out or you may isolate yourself or turn your back to them. What do they honestly want with you? Heart with a key get together with you because they think that the two of you together would be perfect they really want to get together with you and you know any analogies you could see with a key and a lock okay they they think you're perfect for them they, they think that you're the one and they want to get to know you more they want you to welcome their love they want you to welcome their love. What they do they honestly want with you? 
to get together and have you welcome their love. They want to have an, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. If something has gone wrong in the past, they want a reconciliation. And they may want to tell you about issues from their childhood that have affected them or how the fact that they have children or you have children, they want to overcome an obstacle that may be stemming from that. They may also want to have children with you depending on what the situation is for you. They want you to give this relationship a chance. They're hoping you won't close off to their advance or their advances. Okay, Paul 2, that was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. This is what they honestly want with you. Thank you so much for watching. Bless you. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, Pile 3. If you chose Jade, this is going to be your reading. This is what the person on your mind honestly wants with you. So let's see. First, we have Awakening. So they want a second chance here, or they want you to awaken, or they have awakened to something here. Uh, decision. Judgment call. Magician. Gemini energy, Scorpio energy here, one of you could have, or both, the Hermit. They're honestly still trying to figure out what they want with you. They honestly are trying to be honest about finding out what it is they want with you. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, or Gemini in their chart, Six of Pentacles. They want something balanced, they want something practical and grounded, but they're still asking themselves the question. They still don't know what they want to manifest here. They do know they want stability in their life. They are very focused on their money and their stability. But what do they want honestly with you, the sun? They've realized that you make them happy. They've awakened to the fact that they feel a lot of joy around you. And you've awakened something very joyful within them. Ten of Cups. Wow. They want to manifest emotional fulfillment with you. Possibly starting a family or coming together as a family. A new emotional beginning here. So they kind of do know but they're not sure how to do this. It, they may want a reconciliation and start things over with you if you started off. They want a second chance. For, for most of them, they want a second chance. Yeah, Six of Cups next to the Six of Cups because these are two decks that I've shuffled together. So they, they want this. They could feel that there's a, a past life connection here, or you could have known each other since childhood or for very many years, for a very long time. For most people watching this, they want a reconciliation. They want you to give them a second chance because you make them really happy. They want to revisit this. And they're manifesting this in silence, in secret. While they meditate, they constantly repeat affirmations about manifesting a new emotional beginning with you. They want a second chance. You make them happy. They've never met anyone else like you. They want to reconcile with you or they want to come together with you because they know that there is a past life connection here. You make them feel at home. You make them feel good. There's, um, they want to be sweet toward you. They want to give you a gift. And they want stability with you. They see you as someone they that could they could be very stable with. What do they honestly want with you? Chemistry? There is a strong magnetic attraction here. There could be an age gap. They want to make this work. What do they honestly want with you? Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness. They want to enjoy your company. They want to be playful with you. 
They want to be light with you. They want to experience joy with you. They may want to take you away to a paradise island where there's palm trees, sun, and ocean is what I'm seeing here. They want to expand this with you and they want, they want you to give them a chance or give them another chance. They're heartbroken. They're sad about maybe a separation or a breakup or not being able to be with you. They're feeling a little bit lost and they may be like grieving or mourning something here or in their life. They just want the heartbreak to, to end. They want to be in your presence. They could be reminiscing, looking at memories that you made or pictures of you. They want to make memories. They want to take pictures of you. They're wondering if the relationship is over. It's not over for them. They're trying to heal. They're trying to make healthy choices. If you're separated, they're watching you from afar. They know they sabotage this. They want to rebuild things. Wow, this is deep. They want a sudden change. They want to be surprised with the transformation. They're trying to keep a positive mindset. They're trying to manifest this with you, but they, they're feeling lost on how to do this. They're maybe thinking about chasing you. Yeah, okay. So Pile 3, that was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. I hope this was helpful. Um, and see you next time. Bye.